Hello TV fans. Here we are. Album 95. And well, I'm starting with something right off the top of my head because I know it inside and out, over and under, back and forth. And it would happen to be Thrice's last effort, major, minor. And I'm doing this in honor of the fact that although they've been on hiatus for a while, they're finally coming back. And they're coming back playing shows again, and they've got a new record about to come out. And I'm excited. I've liked Thrice since they were a brand new band. Uh, since they were on Hopeless and they were playing punk shows with punk crowds. And they've gone on to play festivals and travel the world and get signed to Island and then leave Island and sort of self you know, control their music and self-promote their albums, the Alchemy Indexes, um, and just to that token, they're a very prideful band that has always done what they wanted to do and, and stood by their own, I guess, merits. And that is something that is few and far between in the musical world, I guess, and to that token, it comes through in their music. They, they are insanely talented guitar players, insanely talented musicians in general, and I think that this last album, Major Minor, really showed them, you know, I guess abandoning the sense of metal that was sort of always prevalent in their music, um, 100% in my opinion. Now, um, some of their older albums, they still took front stage with that approach. Um, all the way back to the beginning when they were predominantly a metal band. Um, I can think Identity Crisis sounds like early Metallica in a lot of ways, but Major Minor to me is a traditional rock record, and the star of the show becomes the drummer, in my opinion. Um, the drums are brilliant. They fit the friggin' the vibe so well that I am not someone who plays drums, but I find myself air drumming to these parts. They are as memorable, if not more memorable, than most of the lead guitar parts. And that, for a band whose drummer played very uh, almost traditional punk beats throughout most of the, uh, their career, I think is a testament to them being able to say, you know what, we're gonna, we're gonna do it all. So Tepe being a talented lead guitarist, Dustin being an amazing uh, rhythm and lead guitarist, and, and their bassist just being able to always sort of hold his own and, and make sure that the bass comes through and it's steady and, and he even has some very intricate bass parts at times. Not all the time, but, but very often too. Uh, I think they're just a composed rock band in a space where I guess originality, uh, stubborn creativity, uniqueness, and merit within being uh, your own artist it is sort of short and uh, sweetly lived because a lot of bands end up doing what they have to to make a living, um, they just, uh, they earned my respect and, and many others. And so, in honor of the new album that's coming out in, uh, you know, a few weeks' time, I, I really wanted to take a, a deeper look at this. So let's look at the packaging itself. We have this really nice, it's sort of matte um, gatefold here. Just some simple artwork, um, you know, sort of this bold block text. The titles of the songs. Um, there's an art print in here that I really like. Um, it's the cover, obviously smaller, but it reminds me of sort of like a Tycho, but this is a square instead of a circle. Um, and, and more with the lyrics on here. Um, and as we're talking about lyrics, I, I have to note that this album is full of, I guess, biblical or religious reference. And it's not... Um, you know, I'm an a atheist, or I guess, um, that's what you'd call me. Uh, I believe in a spiritual sense in the world, and what goes around comes around, and I don't know anything. I just can't find myself believing in something that a man has written down as ideology. Um, I don't know what a creator is, or would be, or maybe, or isn't. Um, and to that token, I have a hard time actually accepting the term atheist, but simultaneously can't believe in false idols. But I I respect the shit out of what's been done here. And the stories um, conceptually built on ethical grounding and, and being able to sort of influence society, uh, those things sort of tell their own story. And to embrace them 
uh, as rhetoric as Dustin has here lyrically sort of sums up as I would assume is his personal regard to religion because thrice has never been nor will they ever be in my I guess acceptance of them a Christian band um, but this album definitely uh, you know it, it comes full circle with those topics and I think that maybe some of that had uh, a little bit of the influence on why they had their hiatus but I, I don't know you know I'm not Dustin I'm not the guys in thrice and, and whatever it was whatever it may still be they've obviously worked through it so here we have um, you know nice black uh, inserts a little bit more artwork the lyrics again um, and this is the yellow cut uh, and this is LP2 side C as you can see right there um, but it has some nice texture in it some whites and oranges it's not just a simple yellow um, it has a little bit more to offer um, but really nice I mean what does this say on here um, true tone mastery so mastered in New York for vinyl pretty cool at true tone um, let's look at the other one, see some variance differences between the two. As the biscuits and the little hopper um, always sort of mix up what color the vinyl does. It's not a 100% a, a um, similar process. It's always unique. That's what I like about vinyl records. Um, so uh, it looks a lot the same, but there are some darker pieces here, something almost green. Um, let me put this up close, let you take a look. Um, Nice though, it's, it's not 180, um, it's not uh, heavy, but it, it's cool to look at, uh, and I like this uh, labeling that they've used, um, you know, it's Vagrant, uh, Vagrant sort of came along and helped Thrice out, and still allowed them to have creative control, which is nice, I think Vagrant is a good label for that reason, um, they put out a, a wide array of music too, they've never sort of stuck to one thing or the other, which I think is is brilliant on their part. Um, you know, a lot of labels get confined within this is our sound, this is what we put out, but they definitely have a wide uh, repertoire of music within what they offer. Um, everything from Active Child to Reggie and the Full Effect and of course Thrice and many, many other bands in between. Um, but this album, as it were, in my opinion, is their strongest full-length effort since The Artist in the Ambulance. Now, they've put out plenty of other good music um, since The Artist in the Ambulance. Uh, many of the songs I really like. Come All You Weary and uh, Digital C, um, uh, others. But, uh, you know, this one overall, to me, uh, it, as an album is concerned, is really good. So, I just wanted to give a little love to it. It's not their star-studded performance that was The Artist in the Ambulance, but then I think that that album was a little contrived, and it showed them sort of doing what they needed to to make a music video and to sort of get amplified recognition, and then they noticed that that's not what they wanted to do. You know, they, they put themselves out there, and then they pulled back, and their fans stayed with them. And this album, um, you know, is, is strong, musically and lyrically as that sentiment is to their career. It, it's, it carries from the opener, hits really hard with this sort of strong riff. Um, and that sort of ability to take, I guess, notes and picking styles that are rooted in metal music and transcend it into just more traditional rock and roll, um, I guess, tells the story of the band Thrice in a nutshell. Um, so, excited to hear what the new album will be like. Don't know if it's going to be heavier, softer, a blur in between, but I don't really care. Um, I'll be a fan. I'm never one too quick to not preach what I do and don't like. I'm not really, really fond of Visu. Uh, I don't really care for it. Um, but Beggars as well. Those two albums to me are kind of throwaways. Yet, Thrice is still one of my favorite bands. So, you know, what did you think of Major Minor? Are you a large uh, Thrice fan, a, a extravagant Thrice fan, somebody who goes out of your way to get everything they do and wears all their merch and maybe this album was a different tone for you? Maybe it's just another part of their career that you appreciate? Or maybe, like me, you found it was one of their better ones. I don't know. Um, now, and to the same token, if you are that... Uh, you know, sort of 
heavily eccentric fan, you know, you you're, you buy all the merch, you you, you you have a thrice tattoo. That's that's the level of fandom I'm talking about here. Thrice fanboys, um, you know. To my Ryan Adams, if you watch my series, you know that that's my favorite, and I. I have Ryan on all four walls of this room, and I have all of his records. I have like seven shirts. That's my level of comparison here. If you are that Thrice fan, Visu beggars, do you think that they hold uh, a candle, do they hold a flame to this album, Major Minor? Because I don't. Um, and I've given them multiple chances. And I'm not saying they're bad. I mean, Music Box is a pretty cool song on Visu. Um, and Beggars does have moments of... Um, you know, clarity that I enjoy, but overall, um, the sustain of those albums doesn't sit with me like Major Minor has, so I'm thinking about, you know, Listen Through Me, I believe is the title here, um, yes, just amazing, uh, poetically written, sort of telling a story, um, and, and on here where, uh, they kind of talk about each track, a little bit from uh, each of the members, Dustin, Riley, Tepe, and, and Ed, each sort of uh, it puts a little bit of story um, to each track, and, and you can get more of their perspective. But Dustin says that Listen Through Me is, is a nostalgic song, reminds me of a bunch of stuff, and it's largely, um, you know, the, the real gospel or the good news of Jesus is not something that he thinks most people have ever had. Um, you know, it's it's more that gospel, you know, has been taken advantage of, um, and he's sort of helping to distinguish the story of the real Jesus, or or that there is um, a real Jesus. And so I like that it sort of, despite my beliefs, it disbands itself from, I guess, the catharsis of modern religion uh, as we hold it to being this sort of place in society where people go and they hang their hats on it and it consumes them to a level of self-righteousness, to a level of um, almost, you know, it, it segregates people, you know, religion is a problem. Uh, but this just sort of, to me, talks about listening through the person Jesus or the, the character Jesus in this case as a level that says, do right from wrong, and right from wrong is this, and, you know, those ethical teachings, and sort of Dustin's way of, of preaching the, the righteous side of it, the gospel side of it, um, through such, I guess, dark terminology, sort of paints a picture of, of the modern world we live in versus the time periods that we've traveled through as religion has uh, de devolved and evolved simultaneously, and, and I think... Um, world religions as a whole sort of always have a Jesus, so you can sort of take that from each angle um, and you can reapply it. And uh, symbolically, uh, for me, it just sort of appeals to what I call like sociological issues and, and the nature of uh, uh, you know, our modern world. So taking it to that level, you know, I don't often preach or talk about a lot of lyrics, but I think that it's smart, um, it's honest, it's sincere, and it's just more of that, that Thrice has always been good about acknowledging, um, you know, world issues, global problems, and, you know, homelessness, and, and different things. Um, just, they're, they're very active and aware uh, musicians, and uh, I imagine they have very big hearts. So, sincere, honest rock record um, from a, a brilliant band, and I can't wait to hear what the new record has to offer. So hopefully we'll have that not too long from now. I'll have my copy um, and we'll do a, like up to the minute reveal. The day I get it, we'll do it um, here on YouTube. So please, what did you think of Major Minor? Leave me some comments below. Hit that thumbs up, hit the thumbs down. I don't care. Subscribe, like, look for me on Facebook at Daily Vinyl Online. Of course, on Instagram at Daily underscore Vinyl and on uh, Twitter now, Daily Vinyl AZ, at Daily Vinyl AZ, if you can remember that. Um, until next time, it's been a pleasure. You know, much love. Take care.